Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 472. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So first news is My Little Pony G5, a new generation official movie trailer release. So, <laughs> after months of character reveals and bombardment of teaser screen caps and show trickling uh, trickle of information via merchandise reveal, we finally have a trailer to show us what we are actually getting. Honestly, the spec tech, um, <clears throat> the speculation has been some of the most fun I've seen have since early G4. So anywho, um, yes, I'm not going to play the trailer for obvious reasons. And yeah, uh, I have to say, it's pretty fun. It is a fun trailer. It does the job right. Uh, it shows what we'll be expecting and it raises a lot of questions. So this is one of those things where I won't be covering that much until the movie's out and whatnot. Because uh, I want to try and go in clean, um, avoid spoilers and whatnot. So <clears throat> probably I'll just watch this one trailer and I'll be done with it because there is a lot of questions that needs answering and I don't think um, spoiling myself with trailers is going to do that but um, from what we can tell <laughs> uh, from what we can tell of the trailer it shows that Equestria is parked in some shape or form and each tribe has their own thing going on and we have processed food and we have smartphones and we have a lot of other things so one of the speculations i have is that is pony life canon to the whole pony arc because uh, in uh, what uh, pony life we did have tablets and smartphones and so on so does this mean it's a continuation to g5 and before you ask, oh, that doesn't make sense. Why do ponies, blah, 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 and so on. Uh, I, the way I look at it is this. As time goes on, uh, technology advances and we get to see, well, ponies advance in their tech. Uh, <coughs> mind you, that we do have the mirror that's connected to Sunset's world. So uh, there is, there could be some sort of um, technological, what you want call this? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Technological, uh, borrow or stuff. You you know where, um, starlight or even sunset just brought into a question to reverse engineer and make it their own. Who knows? So I mean, there is ground there, and it it is an interesting idea to follow through if it's true. But as for now, those are all just theory craft and fan fiction. Yeah. So as for the movie, the characters all they're likable. I mean, um, I don't remember names. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, it's a good thing it's in the um, news. So Sunny, Easy, Pip, Hitch, and Zip. I I remember some of them, and Hitch is the guy. So he's obviously the art guy out. So anyway, um, yeah, everybody has that unique uniqueness to them, and Zip is, well, I, I don't know. I mean, it's very interesting. And, but this is one of those things where I mentioned before. I am excited because all of the actors are professionals, and they can really act. And at the same time, too, they're professionals and they have other jobs because, um. Uh, Hitch here is played by James Marsden, and he does a lot of other movies. And one of the few, one of in one of the movies that he is involved is uh, Sonic the Hedgehog two, the live action movie. So, if he's in there, the chances of him being involved in the TV series may be a bit slim. Who knows? I mean. Hasbro could have said that, 
Okay guys, doing the movie means you need to do a 26 episode movie. Oh sorry, TV series. Um, they all could say yes or some could say no. And from that point on, each of the characters will get replaced and we won't get the satisfaction of hearing their original voices. And one of the few things that I really appreciate for uh, the My Little Pony movie, the G4 one, is that all of our favorite characters uh, reprise their role even from what spike to even uh, i think apple bloom and big mac so all of those uh, minor characters came back so the, or they use those voices because well as fans we really appreciate and we really like them it's it's uh, comforting to know that we get to listen to our favorite characters again. So that is fun. So let's just hope that going forward, we'll get the same treatment with the TV series. So anyway, let's move on to the next one. And next one is, new card game introduced elements of each of the main five G5 ponies. Uh, so I, I kind of twist things around, but um, an influence so over on Instagram has received a kit from Hasbro with various pony merchandise item to show off. Within this merch pile is sorry, pile is a card game that involves the main five new generation movie ponies. The game itself isn't anything too complex. If you play any Hasbro other party card games, but buried within is some interesting new news about each of the characters they all have overall themes assigned to them so sunny is hope easy is creativity hitch is kindness pip is confidence and zip is courage so this is one of those things where um we uh, i would say it's how it was. Uh, I would say that this is kind of the elements and <coughs> sorry <coughs> and we get to see that um, they're still reusing this concept of each character has a certain trait to them uh, this can be um, this this is uh, reminiscing of the main six the student six the I won't say the um b team which is uh since uh, starlight and her group um we, we could say the zebras and more beyond that i haven't read anything beyond the first one so uh, sorry so this is a nice addition or nice lore to follow up with and we got no idea what's happening here because from all of the things we see here it could be a evolution of the equestrian harmony and kindness is still there and funny enough it's hitch that has it so we will we'll see we will see <clears throat> so anyway um this is well so g5 news so let's move on to the next one and the next one is going to be very very weird okay why are people shipping mordecai and twilight sparkle now <laughs> all right so I've seen a lot of people, primarily on the Equestria daily social media accounts, asking this very question. Why the heck is this going on? We have a video from a YouTuber with a bloated of subs that dives into it in a quick 4 minute video going over the history and why we are where we are right now in this wacky internet world. And you know, honestly, it's kind of okay. <laughs> it's one of those things where um, I'm just going to summarize. Young kid enjoys Mordecai and Twilight, ship them together. And he thought it was a good idea and just went, went with it. Later on, after 11 years, he discovered that People like this ship and just carried it on. We just took it over and so on. I mean, 
It's one of those weird things that I guess both of them I don't know man. <laughs> this is way beyond my expertise. But if you would like to know more, uh go click on the video and it dives in really well. It explains it explains it well. It's better than what I can say. So let's let's move on from that train wreck of my mind to the last news of this week. So Zen Pinball Mobile Game getting a pony table. Yay! The mobile game Zen Pinball has apparently licensed My Little Pony for a new table based on Generation 4. The main six battle it out against the various villains in the series in a neat 3D pinball style. Don't they have? Uh, sorry, uh, they don't have a release date yet, and they don't mention the Android version. But it's definitely coming soon to Apple Arcade. Preloads are available in that link. So, I for one like pinball because it's a very, you know, it's a very fun, um, easy. Okay, I won't say easy. I just say it's a fun and challenging game if you really follow the rules and whatnot and personally for me I, I like I, I like to get my hands down and hands down and dirty by pressing the buttons and pulling the plunger and whatnot. So uh, pinball is one of those games where I kind of like because it's very interesting. And personally for me as a um <laughs> I, I won't say young, I, I, I say an older person from the old generation i remember playing pinball the real thing the, the real pinball game and i think the one the board i played was um knight rider i got no idea what i was doing but it was a lot of fun and getting uh, looking at it flashing lights um sounds and whatnot it was fun even though i got no idea what the heck i was doing so obviously something like this would really interest me but one of the few things that bug me is that I have to subscribe to Apple Arcade and I'm not into that man. Even with the uh Taiko no Tatsujin uh game where they had the pony songs and you know what I'm <laughs> man um nah man. Like I, I have my Steam, I have my um Blizzard account. There's another whole mess I'm not gonna get into. I have my what um stuff I, 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 there's something for the news to talk about so yeah um i really want to play this game but i want to play it on pc where i have a keyboard that has physical buttons like look at this phone there's no buttons if you're counting the volume rocker and the power button and this is not even a real button like i have an iphone 8 and this here is just a trigger pre reader with haptic feedback and whatnot so you know honestly it's <clears throat> nice that they're doing this, but I would just personally like to have it on PC. I mean, owning the board itself is going to cost thousands, maybe hundreds. Like, it's still going to cost me a pretty penny. So if I can buy the game on Steam, that would be really fun. But anyway, um, if you have the Apple Arcade, pff, knock yourself out, guys. And that is the news for this week. So let's move on to the next topic and what have I been doing with my week. So uh, there's a few things that has gone on with my week. Give me a second. <clears throat> uh, sorry. So there's a few things that has gone on with my week. And one of those things are I have been on a MOBA kick. Uh, MOBA are those um lane defend kind of game like um mobile legends oh no i'm uh, sorry uh mobile legends bang bang is one of them but um like what league of legends dota and also what's the third one i forgot there is a third one damn i forgot so anyway um like i've been on those kicks so i have since they're free to play, I, I tried all of them. So I went to Dota 2, played it a bit, 
and it was kind of fun and at the same time boring so i dropped that one and played heat of the storm yes the blizzard game where it's blizzard ip fight each other it was okay not great i mean it was a bit simplified like what you do is you create a character structure about how to create your character so that was okay and didn't really hold my attention and the last thing i played was league of legends and you know i, I thought i'd give it a shot i give it a shot and try and see how it goes interestingly enough the game was fun until when i wanted to play the game the next day and couldn't because i couldn't find a game and then i thought to myself oh maybe i was playing against bots so let me try to go against humans took three minutes five minutes find a game and you know what i gave up like if the game wouldn't let me play i i just i'll just give up and you might be wondering why why did i took time to play all these games and the reason is pokemon unite as many of you know that i don't have a switch my friend has a switch i haven't really bothered to ask borrowing it but yeah because of that and by the looks of it it was kind of fun and at the same time too uh, it was not my kind of game so i didn't really played pokemon unite so i i got no idea but the moral is i don't like mobas <laughs> so about trying all those stuff and getting into it or just playing it i don't like the game i don't like that kind of game it's interesting it has death that can be very interesting if you go in and i just didn't man like it's not one of the things that i enjoyed playing so that aside i also did some friday activities um my lgs hosted a dungeons and dragon night uh, this is for in, um, another introduction game and i participated in it uh, this time around, instead of using the pre-built characters, I made my own, and it is pretty interesting. Um, one of the f one of the few things this time around I went through, or when when I built it, was building a character that was evil. And you might be wondering, Roman, why would you want to build an evil character? And here's the thing, um, my personality when it comes to playing video games is I usually tend to go more neutral to more um, good, to, onto the good side, like be polite, be nice and all that stuff. I never really like playing an evil character. I, I remember trying to go, uh, I'm sorry, I remember trying to play Mass Effect and I tried to play the Renegade option. And after doing few things of Renegade, it really didn't really, it really didn't fit me. It, it felt like I was wrong. Like I was, I, it felt bad. So I didn't really get into it more. And this time around, I, I thought to myself, you know what? This is play acting or this is just role playing. Hence tabletop rpg so i thought to myself okay you know what i am going to try and see how this character goes uh, i want to try and play a neutral evil character and see how i do and the results were shocking uh <clears throat> I, I won't spoil much but uh, <coughs> given that i was the only evil character sorry uh, given that in my party i was the only evil character in terms of alignment uh i kind of swayed the party's judgment 
So, what what this means is um, your moral compass when it comes to your character in Dungeons and Dragons. So, if you're evil, you tend to lean more to doing despicable stuff. Like, okay, if an informant doesn't give you the proper information or whatnot, you could punch him or just make them make their day a nightmare or whatnot and tell them not to screw up again if you're good you tend to talk them and say that that is stuff 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 um i expect better from you in the future and if you're neutral you can lean in one way or the other and make sure that you don't well, kind of break your character's uh, moral moral compass or moral values. And since I was playing a neutral evil character, that means my actions were despicable, but they were for good reasons. Like, I, I played the character in terms of, okay, this person is fishy. Why doesn't he want to talk to us in person? Why is this person hiding? You know what? I don't trust this guy. I feel like he is a bad, bad dude. Normally, a neutral or good character would just leave it alone. But since my character was evil, I did the evil thing. Burn down the cottage. <laughs> I mean, if, if, if somebody is, is giving you a mission and at the same time too, they're not being trustworthy, I would trust that person at all. I mean, for all I could have known that he's going to backstab me later. So I better snip, uh, snip, it, um, uh, snip it in the butt right now. <laughs> and yeah, because of that, um, those are the kind of actions that went on. So anyway, um, I recorded the gameplay of it and it will be up on my um, personal channel. I haven't really linked the previous one, have I? You know what, I'm going to do that on this video with the previous one. So, um, for the second gig, <clears throat> that one is going to be more of a casual game with a lot of local um, dialects. No, not really, not local dialect. Um, local is true, but we'll, there will be a lot of um, Malaysian speak in it. So, if you've got no idea what's going on, that will be... It, it won't be affecting the whole game that much. You, you get a sense of, oh, this is what's happening and this is what's going on. And I, I do hope that you guys have the time and enjoy the game. And I, I just would say, uh, the party members, they were all great. Especially um, uh, Hokul and the wizard. I, Aelon? I, I forgot his name. But anyway, um, this party, uh, the group that we were playing was pretty cool and whatnot, and uh, it, it was an experience. It was an, it was an experience. So we are planning on getting together and making a proper campaign where we create our characters from scratch and uh, just get on an adventure. And honestly, what kind of character I want to be this time? Tempted to build a an evil character but I, I don't want to be pegged as the oh me norman me evil so i'm, I'm not gonna go for that maybe, maybe i'll go for a lawfully good character and lawfully good characters can be a stick in the mud and i don't mean uh how do i put this i i, I don't mean um uh who's his name bloody hell um, mm, Mod's boyfriend, I forgot his name. But anywho, um, I, I could play him really straight up good. Uh, I, I could play him as All Might from My Hero. Or I could play him as... I mean, I, I you know what? I could play him really, really well. Uh, really good. So... That will also affect my party because why are you doing this? This is, oh man, 
like the idea for going forward here is going to be very interesting if I play the character to my alignment and stuff because mm. so anyway um let's wrap things up if you guys have any questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact us at the uh you can also reach us on the twitter the show's twitter account is at norman <laughs> at the mbs show and my personal twitter account is at norman sanzo and also please subscribe and rate us on itunes youtube don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and also stitch radio and also like our facebook page you can also catch us on PeninsulaLive.com. Links are in the show notes. And if you would please, um, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you'll catch me and Tara reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, um, specials, and whatever more. Movies, I think. And sometimes we like to do other things than movies. Oh, sorry, ponies. And those are cartoons, animes, movies, games, and so on. Uh, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash mbs show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, myself, like, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.